ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 10th of February. Severe weather potential, that is the main issue we'll talk about for tomorrow, but a reminder that uh, we've got Storm Alert 2009 this week, the annual severe weather tour. We have already had wonderful stops in Utah and Trustville. This week we're coming to Jasper Thursday night at 7 at the CHS building downtown. Next week, the Oxford Civic Center. And again, we'll try and slip one more in at an undisclosed location later. We'll announce that uh, a little later. Let's go to our SkyCam shot. Speaking of Jasper, there's a look at downtown from the SkyCam on top of the King Building. Pretty mild out there. Many spots are holding above 50 this morning. Down in Chilton County, there's a look at the uh, SkyCam in downtown Clanton. And in Shelby County, the view there from the campus of the University of Montevallo. Well, we've got our uh, storm system forming off to the west. The lead wave is up there over uh, Minnesota and the Dakotas. The new wave is digging down through the four corners, and that's the one that will bring us the uh, possibility of strong to severe storms tomorrow. In advance of all of that, temperatures are nice and mild all the way up into the Great Lakes. Look at Chicago sitting at 47 this morning. They're celebrating that. That's the uh, warmest weather they've seen all winter there. And again, we're pretty confident cold weather will be back later this month, but it sure is nice getting the break. A little springtime preview. Watch warning map this morning. Those are wind advisories in effect for uh, central Alabama and parts of the Mid-South. Uh, back in the Southwest, we've got uh, winter storm watches and warnings in effect for the uh, mountains, the southern Rockies, down into Arizona and New Mexico. And uh, interesting to note, a, a flood watch, flash flood watch up for parts of Missouri and uh, sections of Illinois in advance of the storm. I don't think we have any flooding problems here because the thing moves along so quickly. Hey, hey, very active today. Moderate risk of severe weather. Uh, running from Dallas-Fort Worth to Little Rock. That includes uh, Tulsa and Shreveport and Texarkana. Surrounding that, a slight risk all the way up to the Missouri-Iowa border. Higher probabilities uh, for wind damage are 45% right there in that moderate risk area. It's about a 1 in 2 chance you'll have severe weather. Very significant. Day two tomorrow, slight risk. Almost all of Alabama in the adjacent states. As far north as Cleveland and Indianapolis. Includes all of Tennessee and Kentucky. The higher probabilities are a little north of here. And again, that is a very significant number. If that keeps up, that will be upgraded to a moderate risk at midday. Uh, a 45% chance of severe weather uh, for any spot over Tennessee and Kentucky. And a 30% chance all the way down to uh, Birmingham and Interstate 20. So that could be upgraded. And again, it's your qu the question involves the instability. Always is the case with these early season systems. Other than that, this thing looks very good tomorrow. Here's a QPF chart. Heaviest rain up there in that flash flood watch area. Running from a, a Little Rock up to Detroit. And uh, this is valid through Friday evening. This is suggesting we'll see rain amounts of about one inch here. And again, that's the rain tomorrow and the rain we pick up on Friday. That's counting two events. Here's the modeling. This is uh, at noon today. And this is the 060 GFS. Again, there's your shortwave way up north. New one digging down across the four corners. At the surface, uh, you can see that the uh, gulf is wide open. And uh, the showers and storms today should hold mainly north and west of the state. I think most of Alabama will be dry. But tomorrow, goodness, look at that. You know, if this were March or April, uh, that could be a red-letter day. Very favorable negative tilt trough there at 500 millibars. Uh, down below that, the surface low is north of us, a little to the west of uh, Indianapolis. Look at the instability values. There's a look at the surface base cape uh, tomorrow afternoon, late in the day. And this is really showing some pretty high values up there on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. If this is right, that could be very problematic for Nashville and Louisville. And again, uh, that's where the higher probabilities are. The tongue of instability is more narrowed down through here. And uh, that is suggesting the instability values will be around 250 to 500 joules. Maybe as high as 750 down to the south of Birmingham. And, of course, the helicity we all know is going to be very high based on that negative tilt shortwave. The uh, highest helicities are showing up there from uh, uh, really the Tennessee Valley on north. 
But again, there's certainly sufficient all the way down to the Gulf Coast for severe weather. So again, with the forcing, we think it will be a fast-moving squall line with potential for damaging straight-line winds. That's a given. But certainly based on the other parameters, you can't rule out the chance of a few isolated small tornadoes. The tornado threat will depend on how the mesoscale features line up tomorrow. We won't know that until tomorrow morning. So it will be a very interesting day, uh, really our first significant severe weather day of uh, the year 2009. And we encourage everybody to be close to a good source of weather information as the day rolls along when watches and warnings go out. Thursday, it's gone. Sunny and pleasant, no Arctic air behind that. Friday, here comes the next impulse. And that will trigger some rain Friday afternoon and Friday night, and maybe some thunder with that. Don't think we'll have any severe weather at this point. And then Saturday, that thing is gone, so it looks like a day where the sky becomes partly sunny. At this time, Saturday looks dry. The high probably around 60. And Sunday at this time looks dry. And again, uh, that would suggest a high pretty close to 60 degrees. Monday of next week looks good. And look at Tuesday. Here comes another strong Vortmax coming through a very fast flow. And timing will be very difficult in this kind of pattern. This might change, but uh, that's right. That could be another storm day Tuesday of next week. Uh, the surface low pretty far south on this run, but uh, again, that could change. Uh, that is a week from today. Let's go deeper into voodoo country. What do you say? Trolling out here the 24th. You know, yesterday afternoon, we, we showed you the GFS had a snow look. Well, it's got a storm out there, but it keeps the colder air north of here. And every run's going to look different. We all know this is, you know, absolute voodoo here. But we're looking for trends. And again, based on the fact that the NAO should be going negative, we think it will be colder. And uh, the next day, a pretty cold look develops there over the east. But uh, the, modern is, the model is struggling with, you know, specifics out here. And that's what you expect far in advance. We're looking for trends. And I think the trend is we turn colder later this month. And more than likely, the uh, parade of storms will continue. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.